Welcome everyone, Xandre here, and I'm back with some highlights. Things that caught my eye, let's put it like that. Now, first of all, we're gonna start with some particular news that comes from the Slavish, or however you wanna call it, part of Europe. And that's a Russian superhero movie. And they've been in the making since last, since last year, I think. And it's gonna uh, be on the big screens in 2017. November November 2017 17 uh, if I'm not mistaken and it to be honest it looks amazing I've seen it la I started seeing it last year I think a, a, a trailer or a teaser trailer or something like that and it looks just amazing like the guy with the blades and the transformation that they just teased you a bit at the beginning with it now has a face <laughs> and it just looks incredible and don't let, don't even get me started on on aqua chick like I don't understand the language but I want to see it so bad second story of the day uh, it's about something that's happened recently in the news and it's a bit about America yeah fancy that um, anonymous as you all might remember them was a group of hacktivists started on 4chan uh, they went silent for for a while and apparently people started saying like they quit like they got caught or something like that but now they re-uploaded the video and saying that they're going on a full-on war against Donald Trump and everyone that can help please help to, to, to unmask him and and show his true colors next story of the day is a animation that really got me happy because this is the type of animation that I used to watch as a small child <laughs> and it's weird, but that's my generation. So if you don't like it, don't watch. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the animation. It's called The Bizarre Animated Short A Prank Time. And it will not disappoint you. That's literally the title. I have to give a shout out to uh, Mike Matola. I think that's the YouTube user and that's the same person. He did a, a interesting video and <laughs> they got me laughing out loud. It was amazing. And I kind of maybe relate a bit. He did a, a reaction, I would say reaction video to the trailer, but, but he, he just put like two speech bubbles here and here. Once he supposed a girlfriend and once him. Uh, it's the conversation, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put a small clip in it. I'm gonna put a small clip from it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can, can actually see it because you're not even gonna be focused on the on the trailer. You're gonna be focused on the conversation taking place at hand. And with that, we go to our final segment of the day. Well, yeah, not really final. Pro uh, before final. Something that boggles my mind. Just the level of mind blowing is off the charts. Oscar and no not the funny uh, Icelandic Oscar <laughs> that's the cousin to Dave from Australia no not that one but Oscar the modular human prototype now Oscar the human modular prototype and let me quote this please guys at Project Oscar are about to show us something interesting that can change the world in the future Oscar is the first human modular prototype and they were able to make him come to life. Oscar is a programmable conglomerate of meat. That's a that's a difficult that's a difficult word. Steam cells and 3D printed bone. Oscar has a brain, which is basically a miniature supercomputer from which all of his components can be assembled and disassembled like a gooey erector set. I have no idea what a erector is, but I had I have seen the video, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So you can say that well and judge for yourself, but my opinion on this, fucking amazing. They, if this is not a troll, if this is not some late fucked up April 1st prank, science has gotten to the point where alchemists were trying to accomplish back in the early days. And by that I mean, I mean, to, to me it resembles a homunculus is a representation of a small human being. 
popularized in 16th century alchemy and 19th century fiction. It has historically referred to the creation of a miniature fully formed human. The concept has roots in preformationism as well as earlier folklore, folklore and alchemic traditions. Don't forget to leave a like and I will leave you on this note. Who said that women aren't good at sports? I'm gonna leave you with this clip and the link in the description down below of women playing soccer and this is amazing simply because of the fact I cannot do most of the things they do and it's just bouncing a ball on their on their knee on, on, on their foot. I cannot give two taps on that ball. God damn it, why is this so why why does this sound so horrible? Fuck it! Watch it for yourself! And remember, tune in next time. Oh, don't forget to share the video, it helps the channel a lot.